Hey, um, so I, I'm just wondering, like, if you're able to talk. There's been something that I've been dealing with for a while. Um, and I, I need just, I need somebody that I can trust, that I can talk to. And, yeah. Like, I don't. I've kept my mouth shut about it because one, it opened up a really, really, really deep scar from when I was a kid. And I know like if I come out and say it, it's not going to be believed. I just need somebody to talk to. And I'm sorry that I'm crying. It's just something been burying and it's part of the reason why like I will like I, I would I go so hard at fuck like, it's, it's literally been making me sick and I'm like trying my hardest to like fake it you know like the whole saying like fake it till you make it you know if I, for, if I tell I keep thinking like if I convince myself that I'm okay that I am okay <laughs> and the closer it gets to Christmas the more it like eats at me and I just <sighs> hey um sorry I didn't answer I was in the middle of the grocery store I don't really want to say everything out loud in front of a bunch of people um so I'm I'm gonna tell this to you because I do trust you more than anybody that I I know um so when my ex was here in October he I, I, he was sleeping in my room. I had an extra bed. Like, my room's huge. So I have my queen-size bed that me and my daughter sleep in. And then I have an extra full-size bed that I basically moved from one of my rooms into my room because it made my teenager very uncomfortable to have him sleeping right across from where she sleeps. Um... So even though I didn't want him in my room, I, I took my daughter's feelings into account. Like I, that's one thing about me as a mom, I will be as unhappy and as uncomfortable as humanly possible. Just so that way my kids are happy and comfortable. Um, and one of the days that he was here, it was like right before he left, um, he called me and like the kids were sleeping and I'm sorry, give me a minute. So he asked me to come sit with him in his bed so we could talk about like what we were gonna do. So I did. I was like, okay, I don't mind talking. The next thing I know, he's like touching my shoulders rubbing my back and I was just like I know where this is going and I said no I I, like I moved his hand and was like please don't and then like laid me down on my stomach and he like kept grabbing my face trying to get me to kiss him and I was like no like I don't want to and I was like at that point I'm not going to fight because I don't want to wake up the kids. I don't want them to see. Like, I know he's a fucking narcissist. And I know how, like, he has to have that control. But that was, like, the ultimate. Like, him fully saying, like, I fucking own you. It literally has made me so fucking sick, Jasmine. It's like 
Like, I don't have any feelings for you. And for me, like, that act, I won't share that with somebody unless they have feelings for you. And it's literally, like, it just made me feel like that 13-year-old girl again. And I don't, like, I haven't told anybody. And he just, I, like, he emails me. He's like, I don't know why you're being so mean. Nothing's wrong, babe. Mommy's just having a hard day. And it's just like... Like, I, I hate him that much more. It's one of the reasons why, like, I don't really want to do Christmas this year. Is because that's... Like, I don't know how... I don't understand how, like, somebody that I cared so much for... Who knew what happened to me when I was a kid, like how he could do that. Like I told him no several times. And he still did it. And like I I've just felt so fucking dirty. And it's so hard because like like I can't I can't can't be this way in front of my teenager because I don't want her to know. <sighs> That's why, like, when I hear Foxy, like, talk about how, oh, she still loves him. <sighs> she doesn't, for one, I know what that feels like to be a kid and having those kind of relationships with older men. And every time, like, I hear her defend that shit, like... <sighs> It reminds me of what happened to me when I was a kid, and then it just brings up what fucking what my ex did to me last month. And it's like, I can't, I can't fucking really bring it up, you know? I can't. Like, if I tell the court, he's gonna lie. <laughs> and like, even Mr. Reactions, right? I was talking to him last night, I was like, because of what he did to me, like, he's left me so broken, and I'm scared, like, I don't want to make you suffer for what he did, but I also don't want to tell him what happened, you know? Because I just feel so fucking ashamed. I'm like, so embarrassed that I allowed that to happen. <laughs> and it was just like, it was one of those moments where he was just, he had his whole fucking weight on top of me. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not weak. Like, like he's seen for himself. Like, if I want, if I want to throw you off, I can't. I'm very, I'm very strong for my size, which I'm extremely proud of. But in that moment, I just, I shut down. And I'm so disgusted by that. Like, all I kept thinking was, I don't want my kids to see this. I don't want my kids to hear what's going on. I don't want to wake them up because I'm fighting with them.
you know, it's easy for people to say, you know, whatever, but obviously something's triggered something within you, but you need... I don't fully understand why you're letting it all linger, this stuff with your ex, in all honesty. I don't, I don't get that. I think that's one of your biggest problems and you need to put an end to it. You are the creator of your destiny, Linda, and, and you, you're allowing yourself to be stuck in this situation. And somehow I don't fully understand from what you've said why. But I trust that you will have a reason. I just don't know what that reason is myself. Um you've got to remember you are the creator of your destiny and I think the only answer is you've got to end it with him that doesn't take away all the trauma and the hurt and the triggers but you need that fresh start you've worked too hard to be where you are you need that Linda Linda 